Y'all wanna haul some shit and talk about family drama? <gasps> Me too! What's up you guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. I know that it's been like a month since I uploaded. I'm sorry, my life is crazy. Um, but things are kind of settling down now, so expect more content on this channel. A clean with me, vlogs, art, all kinds of stuff. I'm about to go to LA in a couple of days. I got some new clothes. Um, and I'm just, I really hope that they look cool and they fit. I'm going to LA to film with Jubilee and I'm going to be doing a ranking thing, like a ranking like contest or whatever. And it's, it's so cool and I can't wait to show you guys. Um, but let, let's haul some shit and talk about drama. Okay. Okay, cool. This first uh, place that I got stuff from is called Broken Promises and I swear I thought they scammed me because it was taking forever for this stuff to get here and I asked for rush shipping so that I had it in time for LA. Uh, and then I emailed twice and I got this message that says like, this, this company blocked you for messaging. So I'm like, oh fuck, I spent like $300. Like I totally just got ripped off, but I didn't, it showed up or I was about to go crazy on the internet. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna need that money back, sir. <laughs> um, okay, first hoodie. Shut the fuck up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. I'm obsessed, obsessed. Right? Shut all the way up. And then this is the back. I don't even know what it says. It just is cool. Was I stoned in ordering clothes from the internet in bed? Maybe. <laughs> How could you be so heartless? Well, that's, that's accurate. Um, so you guys know that Mama Kent has cancer, right? Um, you know how I've talked a little bit about the drama with my sister, Voldemort? Voldemort? Voldemort, ask Google how you say it, okay? Voldemort. <laughs> anyway, um, she it sucks. I try to be the bigger person and I was like, hey, let's all come together, you know, like me, you, Mike, my brother, and my other little sister, let's all come together and let's help mom the best that we can, blah, 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 right? And here's a screenshot of what she said. Get the fuck out of my inbox. Like, okay, so I sent one message and I'm like, you know what, don't do that. Like say something funny, cause she left the group, right? Um, say something funny to make everyone laugh because this is kind of tense. And I'm like, oh, it's the Cunt Chronicles. And I stand by that. Cunt Chronicles is like my new phrase, I guess now, but I will not spend one more minute of my life being upset that she sucks. And I don't want any of my other family members to be upset or think that I'm upset. Like brush it aside, she's gonna be an asshole, let her be an asshole, like fuck it, like whatever. The world is not going to stop spinning uh, because Voldemort was a cunt. Oh, there's a fly in here. Dude, I'm about to Walter White out and like get this fly out of here. <laughs> okay, another hoodie, cause it is hoodie season, not sweater weather. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear sweater weather. It is hoodie season. <laughs> Duh, I, I can't. Yep. Yep. Hoodie season. Are you are you not obsessed? Are you not obsessed? I'm so glad I didn't get ripped off. <laughs> that would have sucked. I don't even know the rest of the stuff that I got, honestly. Oh, I mean the front's stupid. <laughs> the front is this. Wish things could be different. That's stupid and it's huge. Um and this is the back. Like, the back is so freaking cool, but the front's stupid. Like, why is that in the middle of the shirt like that? Why is it off to the side or something? <sighs> I don't like it. I don't like it. But the, the back is fire. Is that not cool? <sighs> Damn it. Okay, more drama. Um, I have an ex-friend of mine that is like literally harassing me and calling me and leaving me tons of voicemails and like, it's just a complete jerk. <laughs> um, and that is hard because this has been one of the hardest years of, you know, recent memory uh, with Reese's struggle, my struggle with alcohol, my mental health, my mom has cancer. My cousin also passed away um, a couple of weeks ago now and I haven't even had time to process that or talk about that. Um, I might do a video on it. I don't know. I don't know. 
we were like on good terms when he passed. It was complicated. Um, he struggled and he was in his active addiction and just conversations with him really triggered me. You know, we used together for a long time and when I got sober, it really wasn't easy to talk to him uh, or relate to him in any kind of way. It was very, it was very hard. And that is something that people don't talk about when you find recovery is like, who is a safe person for you to be around? Who is going to be someone that respects your boundaries and you can trust them to not talk about getting high or not be actively high in front of you? Like who are, who are your people gonna be? Sometimes you have to make some really fucking hard decisions about who you can and who you cannot talk to or see. Um, and that that is hard. So he passed away and I never had to say goodbye to him. Or that I wasn't mad at him. Uh, for being an addict. I understood. I just had to focus on my own recovery um, And I didn't know how to talk to him once I found recovery Okay Next shirt See this is this is better because it's that wording is off to the side, right? And then the back is just Super cool like they have a ton, I'll link the website down below. Um, they've got a ton of really cool stuff. I was just so terrified that I was going to be robbed. So um, this is a oh, freaking packaging. Like they have like the coolest packaging. Um, this is a lipstick. It's called Dirty Talk Lip Gloss. Sorry, not lipstick, lip gloss. Like it's like this brown color. Um, like, shut up. Look how cool that is. Obsessed. And then I got some basic stuff because I'm a basic person from H&M. So I got a couple of these black shirts and, um, or a couple black shirts. I'm like literally holding a white shirt and I'm like, it's a black shirt. Are you okay? The answer is no. Um, just like a basic white tee. I've been having a hard time finding like like v-neck and not like up to your freaking you know chin <laughs> shirts so just a couple of these one white and then one black basic 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 like mad nervous about these okay oh fuck I was on TikTok and I saw this girl and she was beautiful and she was wearing these jeans and she looked so fucking cool in them and I don't know if I can pull it off because they they're like, oh, like big, you know, like over, like size, like straight leg, like, I don't know what they're called. Hold on. I'm just trying to, I was trying to make up a name for these jeans. Like, just look at the tag, you psycho. Um, 90s boyfriend jeans. They're boyfriend jeans. So I don't know how they're going to look and I'm going to film the B-roll after. So I'm, I'm not sure, but they're so cool for everyone else. And I just hope that they're cool for me too. I don't know. You let me know in the comment section if they look good on me. Tell the truth. You tell the truth. And this is the last thing. I got this from the Halloween store. I wouldn't recommend going there um, unless you absolutely have to uh, until the day after Halloween because this shit is expensive. I spent way too much money in the Halloween store, but I love Halloween and I love like skulls and dead shit and horror movies and like I lost my shit. I lost my mind. I don't even, I blacked out. I don't even know what happened. So it's a flannel shirt with some scream patches on it. And this was like, why is my dog barking? This is like $45. You could totally just make this, <laughs> you know, but what? I thought it was so cool. Absolutely love it. Bro, what is wrong? My dog is crazy. There was nothing there, nothing. Oh, and then I got this hat from the Halloween store. I don't want to mess up my makeup, even though it's like 4.30 and I have to go make dinner. Um, but it's so cute, right? Don't, I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't go to the Halloween store until the day after Halloween, okay? Right now is not your moment. Your bank account thanks you. But if you love Halloween like I do, just wait, just do it. Don't, don't go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, there's more. Hold on, I got this really cool necklace. This almost ended up like under the couch and I would have never seen it. Cause like, let's be honest, I'm not like cleaning this room ever. Like, uh, okay, this is 
is a lot bigger than I thought they would be. Handcuff necklace. I know. It's ridiculous. Like, why are you obsessed with prison? I don't know. I just thought it was fitting, you know? How do you get it on? How do you get it on? Is it like this? Is there a clip? Shut up. How do you do this? There's like no clip on this. I don't know how I'm supposed to get this around my neck. Like, obviously, it's too small. So, there's no, there is no clip and these handcuffs don't come apart. I swear, I swear, I'm really bad at opening shit, but like I swear to God, these handcuffs don't come apart. I don't want to like, I don't want to do it too hard because I don't want to break it, but there's no clasp, there's no clip. I swear to God. Okay, that's cool. It, it looked cool. It's just fucking... <laughs> That's my life right now in a nutshell, okay? Like, oh look, a little serotonin. Just kidding, fuck you. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, as promised, I have a ton of videos already filmed for you guys. I just have to put it together, which I'm gonna do, I swear. I have help now, so it's, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm gonna end today's video here. As always, I love you. Thank you so much for all of the love and continued support on the vlog channel. I promise more content is gonna be coming out and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.